Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true dead. welcome back to Empire Total War. Well, last time, the cursed Indian expedition shambled ever onwards. Because our one job on the sea was to stop Maratha escaping with yet more ships and yet more armies to cause trouble in the Caribbean. Which they just kind of keep doing anyway, so... I mean, at this point, this has got to be a good enough blockade, right? They can't get past this. Hopefully. And as for my main army, well, that took a fair few knocks too. Very expensive knocks, actually, so that's gonna need a couple of turns to, uh, recover. So, okay, we're making progress, but it is slow and expensive progress. And don't forget, Maratha still have a very, very good army with a very, very good general just chilling out in Antigua. So... We've kind of got to go and deal with that as well as it turns out. Still, bare minimum, we've got peace in Europe, and yes indeed, I've got an army that might be able to start putting a lot of pressure on Prussia, because those guys are starting to annoy me. A lot. Ah yes, and once again all my money's gone, so... Alright, rest of the world, what have you got for me? Oh, a hangabout? Okay, the Ottoman force that tried to sail up the coast has decided, uh, no, can't be bothered with that. I think they're just invading Austria. They're just moving in, and they're probably gonna win too. Meanwhile, Russia sending a small force back into Sweden changes its mind immediately. Not too surprising, to be honest. That is a tiny, uh, very battered force. Still, bare minimum, they can defend their capital for the time being. Good-sized fleet in the Mediterranean too. Nothing much from Sweden back to Maratha, who may or may not decide to, you know, liberate their own ports. It's hard to tell. Very often, up north, they just can't be bothered. For the time being, yeah, I think they're focused on getting dug in, because at this point I've got, oh yeah, they're just getting dug in. They know there is a big army standing very nearby the centre of their empire. A small scattered force is probably going to, yeah, just uh, burn down a farm, nothing major there, we can take care of it. Do not forget, by the way, I've now got myself a handful of troops coming in to cause trouble in what used to be Persia. So, they're gonna have to respond to that too. Oh, but lovely news, uh, we've got ourselves a brand new port emerging right here in Mexico. Already ridiculously wealthy, but this place is very poor, unfortunately. So yeah, that means a trading post wouldn't do that much to, uh, yeah, local wealth. Also in Mexico, there is, um, yes, a town I didn't bother upgrading into anything. Sorry about that, guys, that's very embarrassing. Okay, now this area could do with a bit of religious conversion, just because... Yeah, religious unrest is just going to be a permanent thing otherwise. Wouldn't mind spawning some priests around here. Let's get a nice church school out. And there are two more villages that could show up as well, so... As we've already got a prosperous port in play, screw it. Let's actually get myself a fishing village. That way, faster growth, and honestly, yeah... It's still worth the same amount to uh, region wealth as a, a port would be, so go on, why not? And we should also definitely get a handful of troops out over here in uh, New Spain. Just to make sure Spain don't look at New Spain and think, hang on, we used to own that. And also, it's not defended. And also, it's more valuable than literally any territory in our empire. So let's take that temptation away from them by reinforcing the garrison a bit. And thinking about South America, yeah, let's make sure this is going in the right direction because some of these big cities can be really valuable if you bother investing in them. And investment doesn't just mean money, sometimes investment means uh, keeping an eye on, uh, yeah, growth. So right over here, we've got ourselves a territory that's not growing. Despite the fact we've got, I believe, uh, two villages dotted about that could yet grow. Yeah, there's another one right up there too. So we want this place to be growing. Best way to do that, either invest in fisheries or potentially boost farms. Now we've got ourselves a farm right here, but I don't have the tack. Okay, so farming techs may be useful on certain occasions, I won't deny. Also, oh bloody hell. Okay, so immediately, yes, the uh, money is starting to disappear very fast. 
Oh, but speaking of farming, yeah, right over here, let's get some stuff down, because you, buddy, you're not growing. In fact, you're shrinking. Sorry about that. And sticking in the Caribbean for a moment, yes, the Navy can make it, say, all the way over to here, but I don't want it to go any further, for the simple reason that, uh, yes, indeed, we might need just a handful more troops. This army's in good shape, but... £10 says, uh, by the time I get here next turn, yeah, these guys will have actually repaired themselves. Then again, I am putting a lot of pressure on Maratha right now. They might not be able to afford every single repair they'd like to do. We've also got ourselves, yes, gun carver right here. Then we've got... You guys are just holding on, thanks to garrison. So, okay, something needs to be left here as a garrison. Basic colonial militia. Lovely and oh bloody hell. Okay, so uh, it is uh, somewhat difficult to get out troops in this part of the world. Gotcha. Right, well that's going to have to do as most of the money is already gone. Oh and marvellously good news, I've been waiting for this. So my big wonderful massive fleet, the fourth rates, has made it back home. And those guys are, are going to sit right here in the Baltic. Alright. If anybody on this side of the Baltic, say the Polish, or the Swedish, or the Russians, if they take any of these ports, feels stupid and declares war, then they are not getting out of the Baltic. Because uh, to get out, they'd have to pass by my interception zone. Meaning, I get to say, no, stop, it's time for me to murder you. In other words, uh, yeah. At this point, that's going to keep this territory much, much safer from any Baltic stupidity. The reason I had no choice but to pay off uh, the Polish last time. With the Polish gone, reinforcements finally make their way down south. Absolutely lovely. So yeah, we've got some slightly old school cannons uh, just uh, coming in together with a decent garrison over at Berlin. And then this force right here. So guys, 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 guys. It's time for you to go. Oh, hang on. This army's looking battered. Really battered. Okay, how good are you at spying, by the way? Kind of good. Actually, that's bonus to infiltration. Can you just get in there? Yeah, 86%. And bloody useless. I could have sworn this army was in perfect condition, like barely any time ago at all. So... I don't know what's happened, but we're going in. All right. Prussia, I am just sick of you. And I can't help but notice there is an army standing right here looking a little bit damaged. Now, okay, they've got howitzers too, but so do I. I've got more. Shouldn't be a problem. And oh, they have got so many grenades, which is good because, yes, grenades in a straight engagement they're not bad, to be honest. Like, accuracy 45, that's good. Melee defense is good. Range is perfectly okay. It's just there's half the men here as in a usual unit. So, against basic line infantry, they will lose. Oh, now take this. Super easy territory for my cannons to do good work. Nothing dramatic. Standard straight line. Cannon scattered. Howitzers in the middle. Yeah, then grenade shot either side. Okay, that's interesting. They are not in the position I was expecting at all over there. So in which case, let's just start getting you guys into a good flanking position. We'll just start laying down the explosions there. Lovely. Should hit something sooner or later. Not 100% sure what they're doing way down on that side of the fight. But I shan't say no. In fact, if anything, yeah. The guys over here, you guys should start packing up. Let's start uh, moving into some better positions, uh, ready to intercept all this nonsense. For the time being, we're happy just to look at each other, so I'm just going to keep shelling their front line. A couple of grenade lads are just kind of heading around the outside for reasons I'm not sure about. Trying to get on top of my cavalry, best as I can tell. So, obviously, they're not getting on top of them. I just keep moving, and eventually I'll probably get a chance to, uh, yeah, ambush their tiny, tiny amount of infantry. Yeah, these guys over here look very unguarded. I've got way more cavalry than them. I could just slowly move in and just, uh, yeah, surround them. All right, a handful of cavalry is coming in to intercept. We've got, uh, yeah, 
These light cav right here. Honestly, one on one, we should do fine against them. I will give the AI in this game. It's pretty good at using its cavalry to intercept units you're trying to send around the back. Like, it does do it pretty reliably a lot of the time. And one of my units of infantry looks like it's about to get a good shot at you bastards over here. So anytime you're ready, guys, open fire. Lovely. Here we go. First proper gun exchange. Rank one fires. Down on the knees you go. Rank two goes in. These guys are tough, but... They cannot stand up to this much firepower. They are outnumbered two to one, and they don't like it. Oh, but here's interesting. Looks like reinforcements are coming in to try and, uh, yes, assist the grenade lads. So, I mean, I'll take that. If you guys want to... Oh, you're not going to be entirely in range, are you? Bit of a shame. Right, you guys, uh, start pushing forward... Uh, about here, maybe a bit more like about here. Let's intercept these guys uh, as they arrive, because uh, it's nothing but a giant pile uh, of grenade lads, and you're just going to annihilate them. I love it. Also, are you actually walking in this direction? Oh, I think you are as well. Oh, well, that's just... That's great news. Thank you, lads. I love it. So, okay. Guys, uh, start pushing forward on at this angle. You're going to take out these guys in just a moment. You are going to annihilate these bastards. You've already been seen off. You just turn in this direction. So, okay, we're about to annihilate these poor bastards. You're already going to be firing on this lot. Oh, this is going very well. This is uh, this is smooth uh, right here. Aside from a cavalry, who are kind of just stuck, uh, yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, not doing so hard. You know what? I'm going to pull them back. There's no reason for them to lose uh, too much more. It's not like the actual cannons on their side are doing that much. They're really not. We're doing more damage to better units right here. Right, well, they just continue putting troops into the meat grinder. May as well start uh, pushing up myself here. Because, yeah, we've got units who could probably do more damage uh, if I just go forward. You don't need to worry so much about walking in front of uh, howitzers, by the way. Because, yeah, it's a bit more of a... Well, not really like a mortar shot. But it is more up than down than just straight line. Right, here comes the cavalry about to walk into... Oh, guys. Guys, guys, guys. You've made a horrible, horrible mistake right there. So you've just eaten some bullets. Some more line infantry is coming in too. Absolutely love it. And now it looks to me like, oh, guys, 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 let's get into a good position for this nonsense. You're doing very well. Line infantry is coming in for a bit of a fight. Honestly, you guys can just move a tiny bit further forward, intercept these guys. And now we're just going to start slowly boxing them out. All right, step by flipping step. At this range, we're not in range of canister yet. So honestly, this is not a bad position to be in. You guys uh, can start moving forward uh, the slightest, slightest amount. You guys are about to annihilate these guys because they were already very damaged. Uh, you guys can move forward a tiny bit too. I think you're not quite in range yet. Lovely. And oh yeah, we're just taking them apart. All right, at this point, it's just, it's just sad. Are you guys properly in range? No, you are not. So just come round to here. You guys uh, push forward uh, step by step. Nice, easy. This is good. This is good tactics. And the final push. Cavalry finally gets to come in. Just in time to be shot by my own troops. Absolutely love it. You guys get out of there. More coming in. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. Aside from, uh, yeah, one bit of an exchange with a bit of line infantry and the cavalry units. Honestly, this has gone very well. In particular, we've not just won. We've won with uh, so few casualties. Uh, we're ready to push straight on to the next. 130 lost. Honestly, more than I'd like, but what can you do? And on top of that, yes, you guys are now... Oh, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Right, that's them shelled into next week. Absolutely lovely. I wouldn't mind getting my spy into this town before checking what's actually... Oh, hang on. How did you... Wait, what? How are you now in the town when you just have failed to get in the town... And as you're in the town, why haven't I got accurate information about, you know, the troops? Oh, never mind. I'm sure it's fine. Keep the troops here for now. We can't make it to Munich immediately anyway. If we are very, very lucky, though, Westphalia might decide to uh, come in and do something. I mean, Poland might decide to come in and do something. 
Please, guys, come on in. I do not mind. And do not forget the small force I've sent up north. Now, I could send that towards Persia. However, I have a good reason to not do that. One, this territory over here, apparently I could get to it immediately. And very excitingly, yes, it appears to be already on fire. So I suspect it's not in good shape. And uh, let's just say there are reasons I want to go this way. So, all right, guys, on to the road you go. Let's cause some trouble. Now, for lucky, no armies in the way. Okay, there's a small force here, but it looks like we're just going to... Darn it. Unfortunately, we're just inside his control area. So, we can't just bypass him. We're going to have to go and take him out. But I have got... I say I've got gun calf. I've got two gun calf. All right, maybe don't get like, you know, super mega cocky or anything. But I've got enough to, uh, bare minimum, yeah, take him out without too much trouble. This is uh, Lancer and uh, Hindu Musketeers who are not very good quality. So, all right, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, nothing too dramatic here. Got them surrounded. I'm just going to try and bait the Lancers forward uh, into a giant pile of fire. Together with, yeah, using Dragoons to, uh, close the trap. So just guys, slowly, slowly forward. There's a lot of sniper fire ready to reinforce against anyone stupid enough to take even one step forward. So here we go. Fire is about to begin momentarily. Come on, guys. I know you want to. I know you want to take the bait. If you don't, I'm happy just to uh, stand here and shoot you, actually. So just bring the cavalry forward. Falling back step by step. Oh, but he knows he's surrounded. He could see it. And uh, here we go. It's actually these guys who are running forward. So you're about to come under fire right over there. Bring the gun cav in around the back. Pull you guys back. No need for you to fire at all. These guys are going to be fired upon from every bloody side immediately. There we go. Boom. Boom. Dead. Pull back straight away. Love it. You guys need to just, uh, yeah, turn around in this direction. You pull them in that direction. If you are maybe about here, this is going to be really useful in a matter of moments. Guncav, prepare to chase down the skirmishers. Absolutely love it. They have no idea where they want to go at this point. We're also just going to keep firing on these guys because why not, to be honest? There we go. I think they've pretty much given up on their friends. Now they're just backing off. Meaning we can just pick them off step by step. Love it. Oh, they're moving. They're moving. Here it comes. A fire. Fire and more fire. And you're about to run into gun cavalry range as well. Dear oh flippin' dear. Everybody prepare to finish them off. A job done it would appear. Driven back, not dead. But bare minimum, they're out the way. It'll do. Especially as I can see over here. This territory is, uh, yes indeed, completely undefended. We should just be able to walk in there next turn. The unfortunate thing is, though, the Ottomans actually kind of like Maratha. I was really hoping they might decide to, uh, yeah, join in and assist, but no, on this occasion not. Still, leave the troops right here for the time being. Honestly, they're doing their job pretty darn well. They're keeping the Marathans hiding in their cities. And as long as they're doing that, they're not causing trouble in my territory. Though, speaking of which, they're causing trouble in my territory. Sorry, forgot about you. I'll be with you in a second. Yep, Auto Resolve gives me a perfectly acceptable solution right there. You guys lose most of everything. Naff off if you'd be so kind. Also, okay, the general just gained four traits. What on earth just happened to you? You are confident. Great. You're also good at attacking. Excellent. Steady under fire. Bonus to morale. Superior general. Well, okay. He just gained the trait for more than one victory after what may be his first victory. So, I mean, well bloody done, mates. That reminds me. So, let's talk all about the things that John just didn't really know. Which is kind of embarrassing, because this apparently is pretty basic. And people have been yelling about it in the comments. You're going to be delighted about this one. So, 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 so. I had no idea that apparently if you merge units, it's actually cheaper to repair them thereafter. Despite the fact you're repairing the same number of men. 
That's what people have been telling me. So, uh, let's say uh, this unit and this unit. They need to be, uh, yes, repaired. So, if I just do it, it's going to cost me 187 to do. Alright. But what if we didn't do that? What if we were to uh, merge them together first? Then it costs... Okay, so all of you in the comments were completely wrong. It's precisely the same cost, because that's how it normally works in Total War. Like, it doesn't matter if you merge, because the cost is calculated off the number of men that you're actually replenishing. So, okay, good. Every single one of you in the comments that's been banging on about this for bloody weeks, you're all bloody wrong. Oh, and there they are. Kill Fleet is ready to go again, so... Okay, 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 okay. Let's get you moving because, uh, just double check before we don't go this way. Yeah, East Indies is uh, nice and empty at the moment, but we know for a fact we're running into some trouble with uh, bloody Prussians uh, over here in Madagascar. So uh, let's get Killfleet over there, doing a bit of a world tour, just making sure everything's super chill. And though it's going to cost me a bit of raiding income, I'm going to, yes, go into this port and trash it while nobody's stopping me. Because I just do not want you shipping any more troops anywhere else. Okay, rest of the world, what have you got for me today? Oh, hello, Saxy. What we've got is a Prussian army that's decided to come out and say hello, despite not being in possession of a single general. Oh, well, now this. This is interesting. My general is, okay, he's not the best, but he does have uh, some experience. I have got definitely more firepower in terms of uh, line infantry. I have got howitzers. Uh, he doesn't. He has more grenades, but the AI rarely uses uh, the grenades uh, to grenade, which is what they're best at, hence the name. Grenade lads. So, uh, okay. We could destroy Prussia right here, right now. All I need to do is win, but also do it well enough that I can move on and take out what's left of the garrison in Bavaria. And I think I can do it, because he's got a lot of cavalry in this army, and cavalry does enjoy just tossing itself into a gun line. Alright, nice long line, cannons in the center, I've got barely any cavalry, but... Kick it off. Let's see what we got. We've got more artillery than them. They've drawn up a little bit wider than us, mind. But I don't think it really matters. Watch the cavalry. Because that's where they've got the definite advantage. Right there. So we're just going to open fire with our flares. Lovely. Lovely, lovely kills. Right there. Absolutely adore it. Just look at those flipping dead horses. Tasty, tasty Tesco lasagna right there. So, okay, they're firing in. They've got their guys on the very edge by the looks of it. So, all right. Bring what little cavalry I do have out here. If they leave this unguarded, I might be able to get on top of it. They're advancing forward because, obviously, they have to. Right now, these cannons are on, yeah, normal fire. We might be able to put them over to shotgun. In fact, we definitely will be doing so as soon as the enemy gets a little bit nearer. For the time being, there's not really much point. Looks like we're in a weird situation here, which is... I've got plenty of troops over on this side, but yeah, maybe not enough over on this flank. So, okay. For safety, guys, I want you to be in a slightly better defensive position, curved a bit more over here. I've also got my grenade lads ready to toss in grenades at anyone stupid enough to run up to my front line. Nobody will probably, but we'll see. Okay, as for you... Yeah, start pulling forward uh, in this angle. Get ready to start looping round uh, if need be. And okay, we're probably in shotgun range. Yeah, we're in shotgun range. So okay, guys, 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 guys. It's flipping shotgun time, all right? Unleash the cock in pain anytime you're ready. And uh, here comes some blast. That was completely the wrong target. Wildly the wrong target. That's better. That's some dead people right there. They appear to be moving in this direction for now. Possibly realizing, yeah, I was a bit too dominant on this flank. So they're moving up to counteract. 
In which case, you guys can just move a little bit. A little bit up. Just the slightest amount. They are covering their artillery with cavalry, by the way. So I can't just go and assassinate that. We're almost, almost in range. Oh, now that's the staff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the shotguns are doing their job. That's nice. That's nice right there. Grenadiers are up on at this flank, so that should be an easy victory for me. Those guys are tough, but not tough enough. So, okay. Initial exchange should be coming in momentarily. My troops have started firing. I get the first shot in, obviously, because they're walking into my range. Love it. So, oh, you guys are in trouble already. I like it. I like it a lot. So, okay. We've got a good exchange going on right here. No cavalry guarding these guys, so you guys just stay over on this side. Some people starting to get a little bit cautious already. So this is, yeah, pretty basic exchange of fire. My cannons are obsessed with their cavalry. Probably shouldn't be, to be honest. If they're going to try flanking, you move into this position over here. I'm confident the center's going to go well, because I've got shotgun cannons backing me up. So this should not be... Oh, yeah. Right there, this is going A-OK. -okay. This is fine. This is all absolutely A-OK. -okay. What about the grenade lads? You... Pull your position over to here, if you'd be so kind. There might be a good opportunity for you to just charge forward and toss in some grenades to uh, assist. And you guys are just threatening, not doing too much. Okay, guys, it's time. Push the grenade boys forward. It's time for you guys to do some good bloody work. Activate grenades over there. And activate grenades. That's a good line right there. So grenades, prepare, fire, and throw momentarily. There we go. Grenades number one and two. Fall back, please. Fall back. And that's done some good damage. Fall back behind everyone else. I love it. And hang on. Where were the other grenade lads? I don't know. I've lost them. Oh, it was you. Okay. Guys. Grenade number two, please start firing anytime you're ready. Those guys are sort of rotating. Okay, so the angle was a bit wrong, but it's kind of worked out to the end. I'm sure it's fine. You guys can probably fall back, actually. Center's going just fine. Appears to be on the flank. Situation has resolved itself. What happened to the cavalry? They're sort of just moving along, but they're not really finding much of an opening. I was reacting to them specifically. They tried to protect their cannons, but we've just been shelling them with fire this entire time. So cavalry is not finding an opening. This is looking, this is looking good. I'm happy with this. Shotgun cannons have done excellent, excellent work. We've got ourselves more grenadiers coming in. You guys are full back just a little bit. The line is holding. How many casualties have I taken? Okay, in the center, a lot, to be honest. You guys were being shot for uh, some time, but we are where we are. Okay, there'll be more grenades uh, right there. This is looking good. On this flank, honestly. Oh, hang on, that's that's line infantry. Sorry, I thought that was just uh, cannons that needed tidying up, but no, no, it is not. Okay. You guys just go forward and engage with them. You should win that fight nice and easily. At this point, we've also got... Okay, we need to start... I'd say we need to start looping around, but actually, there is a, there is some trouble. Okay, where are my grenades? You lads, we're not quite done with you yet. Forward, forward, forward. And you guys, forward, forward, forward. If we can just get these guys to hold their position for a second, we'll be good. Guys, don't mind me. I'm coming through. We're going to be doing some lovely, lovely grenading. You guys, grenades. If they don't move, grenades are going in. And that will do some damage right there. Fall back. Let everyone else do a little bit of work too. You guys, just keep tossing in. You guys, fire right there. You're kind of standing right next to, uh, yes. Oh, hang on. That's the, that's the shotgun, lads. Oh, that'll do. You guys turn your attention right there. That's a lot of fire. That's going to be enough to break you. Couple of units coming in around the back. Guys, at full back, unfortunately, yes. They're not shattered. They're still coming in. This exchange over here is going very much in my favor. That's fine. This flank appears to be going well. So you guys, start moving in that direction. Start looping in. What else do we have? Honestly, you guys, full back. What on earth is going on over here? 
I don't know, but for some reason, you guys appear to be struggling a bit. So, fall back into a sensible line. Yeah, we've taken a lot of damage over on the left here. So, okay. It's a tiny handful of troops. Just start firing in a moment. Soon as we are done firing. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. You guys just open up fire. They should be firing in a moment. As soon as they do, cavalry will hopefully hit them about the right time. Good exchange of fire going on right over here. Just put some, yeah, nice light little taps on these guys. Long range fire coming in from all sides. I think they might be inside the effective range of all of this nonsense. You guys have just started to send to what's left of your cavalry straight into my infantry. Has not worked out for you, understandably. You guys have been shattered. Good. Cavalry is doing a good job right here. See off the rest of them. And with them dead, you guys just start moving in this direction. What's left in the center? See a couple of guys over here. That's grenade lads. You guys fall back, fall back, fall back. Everyone else just start pushing forward in this direction. I love it. You guys probably stop. You will kill us. Those guys have just naffed off chasing down them. Honestly, I'm okay with that. That's not a problem. And yeah, momentarily, you'll be able to finish off all of that nonsense. We're laying down some good fire on these lads. I'm seeing more cavalry coming back in for another charge. You guys want to try and take that out? Honestly, give it a go. I'm fine with that. So open fire on cavalry. We are shooting straight into them. Wavering already. Anyone want to get a cannon shot in? Unfortunately not, but that was their general. Apparently, Grenadiers now being seen off. This flank now doing very, very well indeed. Anyone else left? I think we've got it, but I think possibly the terrain might have screwed me over a bit there. Okay, 500 lost. So I've still got 1,600. They're down to 200. Honestly... I'll take that. Most importantly, my cannons are still operational. As long as I've got howitzers, I can just drop fire into their town basically forever. So, yep, as should be expected, they are falling back. Okay, no other move from them. And they cannot repair, not before next turn. Well, actually, two turns, in fact. Poland just chilling out, by the way, with this navy that's now battered. Okay, well, it was going by Britain. Possibly Britain just battered the Polish Navy. I'm not sure. Okay, we're past the Ottoman turn, and by the looks of it, they have not taken the territory around Croatia. So, not sure what happened to that army. Possibly Austria beat them back. No idea. And over to Maratha, continuing to, yes, just desperately try and uh, hold on to the centre of the empire. Handful of troops just uh, bobbling around. Honestly, no immediate threat to me there. We should be okay. They're starting to slow down a bit. Oh, and the Westphalians are on the move with a, a big fleet and an army. Heading towards by the Luxi of it, Canada. Okay, Westphalia might be about to go and get their first colony. Good luck, lads. Oh, and we've got uh, what I suspect is uh, good news and bad news, which is I've just been advised uh, that... Guatemala has started rioting. Now, they weren't rioting last turn, meaning something's changed. And I suspect what it might be is uh, technology. No, none of those would actually cause uh, any change to public order. But, 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 this is good, okay? We've got a bunch of really good stuff that's just come in. Step one, farming tech actually bothering to do it. So farm's now going to help growth just a tiny, tiny bit more. And I can make, yeah, some of my farming buildings are even better. Lime juice, meaning naval units, going to be a bit cheaper. And uh, prestige, not really been paying attention to uh, prestige at all, as it turns out. And pretty bloody crucial, this one, reorganized procurement. So, 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 land units are now cheaper in terms of uh, recruitment. But upkeep is higher. But more importantly... It opens up a lot of new buildings. So, over in Amsterdam, we could now have a, a gunnery school. Giving me access to, there we go, my own mortars. I flipping love it. And, 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 the reason we want a gunnery school immediately is, once I've got that, I can start researching explosive rockets. Because, oh, if you thought explosive shells were good, you ain't seen nothing yet. And the army board, the next step of barracks, is also pretty exciting. Not because it actually unlocks anything. It basically 
doesn't, to be honest. Like, it's pretty much the same stuff we've already seen. However, what it does give me the ability to start working towards is uh, Light Infantry Doctrine. So I can finally start training my own snipers, uh, not just recruiting them from the American colonists. In the long run, also Riflemen. And uh, if you thought 90 range was good, uh, oh my, Riflemen, range 1, 2, 5. Accuracy, 70. Reloading skill, an impressive 35. Oh, these guys are sexy. So yeah, we're going to get working on both of them right away. Not so much because they immediately give me anything I need, but purely because once they're done, we can start working on some very exciting new technology. Okay, crucially, do I think I have enough firepower to immediately go and finish off uh, the Prussians? I don't know how damaged some of these units are. You know what? I'm willing to begin it, but not finish it. I want to wait for my troops to, uh, yes, fully recover first. They're already in the process of recovering, at least some of them are. So let's just move you in that direction and uh, hold the siege right there. In fact, that's, that's a lot weaker than I thought. Okay, yeah, we could just walk in and make that happen. Oh, we have got some lovely weather for our final assault against the Prussians. I love it. Okay, this time, no overthinking it. Just begin and immediately begin operation. Knock down some walls. All right. We're going to drive them off the walls because if they're not on the walls, then yeah, those cannons right there can't fire anymore. And we're going to be laying down a lot of fire very fast. There we go, a wall number one goes down, and now we've got a breach. Alright guys, pack everything up, let's move around to the other side, and make sure it's a clean sweep, because actually I think you guys are a bit uh, too far away anyway, so we'll just move you in over here, no trouble at all. There we go, bit of rain just to mark, you know, the sadness of Prussia being completely bloody annihilated, just need to... Uh, Draw our guns back up into position. We're now in a much, much better angle. So, guys, you lot can focus on that. Everybody else can focus on, yes, setting fire to as many Prussians as we can. So, you guys just get over to here. If we could just land a few explosions or whatnot on these guys, that would be magnificent. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. Let's start cutting them down, laying down the explosions. Unfortunately, yeah, they're kind of being protected by their own fortifications, but it's still pretty damn good. They've also got a handful of very small light cannons and three horses right here. So I'm going to send in my 12 horses to counteract that. Oh yeah, prepare for the world's Nafis cavalry engagement. I flip and love it. 12 versus 3. Who shall win? Probably the 12. Like, if we lose this one, it's going to be flipping embarrassing. So, guys, here we go. Start seeing off them. Okay, they're down to 1. And then, okay, wavering. Honestly, I'm impressed you're only wavering. And shatting. Good. Go take out the only bloody cannon. Oh, good bloody reinforcement timing right there. You see what I mean? Horses may toss themselves into gun lines and die, but they are good at defending their own artillery. Still, I might just be able to sneak back in and see you guys off right here. So, eight, seven, six, steady, impressive, to be honest. Let's just uh, get them off their guns. Uh, this guy's just naffing off with a cannon and a horse. He can come work for me once this fight's done. No trouble there whatsoever. Shattered done. So, that is their only cannon taken care of. I love it. And more firepower just being laid down there. Did we get anyone? I think we might have set some people on fire. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Some people are starting to uh, panic and waver already. This is good. This is very good stuff. Okay, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Let's just uh, focus all firepower right here in the center. I want this taken care of. Okay, fire continues to rain down, but we're going to need a handful of boots on the ground uh, just to... Uh, wrap up our business here. So uh, start bringing forward uh, some uh, strong units. We've got a handful of cavalry coming out to say hello. 
bunch of uh, gunmen just trapped up on the walls. Uh, can't do a bloody thing. So we're just continuing to uh, shell them for the time being. You guys are... Okay, sort of interested in fighting back, so we'll just uh, leave you alone for the time being. I want to say leave you alone. What we're going to do instead is start shelling you, because we can. So, okay, you guys can't really return at fire. You may as well fall back for the time being. Over on this side, we should be a-okay. You guys just... Go forward, start laying down some fire where you can. These guys up here are trash, so we don't need to worry about any of that nonsense. And yes, indeed. Caffrey's interested in it. Oh, that was good. That looked like a good hit right there. Well done, lads. You know what, guys? You massively outnumber them. You guys, uh, come over here. Start laying down the fire. We've got... Oh, there's fire on their cavalry. I flip and love it. They are going to be absolutely annihilated right there. They don't enjoy that one little bit. Absolutely spectacular. One of you guys, uh, turn your fire back over to here. Looks like there might be a, a handful of troops still just uh, chilling out right there. Cavalry appears to have been seen off. You guys just start moving into position. More explosions coming down. I love it. You guys stay right there. Open fire. You guys climb up there. No trouble whatsoever. Some cavalry is coming in. Only 23. Shouldn't be a big deal at all. So you guys can now open fire. Lovely. So that was one and two and... Anyone planning to actually fire? Anytime you guys are ready. You're welcome to fire. Please try and fire. Alright, just form into a good position and... I mean, I guess you could just charge in, to be honest. Ah, screw it. Yeah. Fix bayonets in your flipping go, lads. No trouble. Meanwhile, looks like more guys are just... Oh, no. Firelock lads are coming out to melee me. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. That's uh, that's not going to work out well for you. You're not good in the melee. Not in the slightest. Explosions are continuing to just uh, rain down on every side. I am kind of shelling my own troops there. Sorry about that. Shouldn't be doing that at all. You guys, you're in melee mode. You can just annihilate them right there. There's more firelocks. So there's basically no opposition going into the town center. Oh, thank goodness. Finally, bloody finally, it's the end of cocking Prussia. All right, one on one, we're just sort of uh, skirmishing with these guys. I have got all the bayonet techs, so it's possible I'm actually ahead of them. My troops might be superior in a melee, not actually 100% uh, sure about that one. You guys just charge up forward. Please don't let yourselves just get shot by random militia. That's just embarrassing, to be honest. So you guys have almost got this. Those guys are collapsing. You're just pushing in over here. We can lay down all remaining fire on the troops trapped up here. No trouble at all. Just setting them on fire too. Absolutely love it. You guys are wavering. Someone over here is, I think, trapped inside the gate. Well done, lads. So you're doing very, very well right there. You guys will be falling apart momentarily too. Oh yeah, this is it. This is the end. And just as a lovely final embarrassing goodbye to these guys uh, from their own town plaza or center or flag or whatever, we are going to form up and shoot them in the back. Lovely. So all troops prepare to open up fire. You guys should already be uh, ready to go. Here we go, lads. Just uh, finish reloading. Unfortunately, till everybody's ready to fire, nobody will fire. So if some units were interrupted in their reloading, everyone has to wait for them. But there we go. Fire's now coming in, being laid down on these poor bastards. Uh, kind of shooting some of my own guys there as well, must be said. But you guys now wavering. Uh, move forward. Uh, lovely. Absolutely spectacular. You guys are just hanging out right here, shooting at anyone who needs to be shot up. Oh, shooting them up on the walls. I love it. Very stylish. Just laying down explosions. Uh, fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. This feels good after so many decades of Prussia being complete and utter dicks. They've got to flipping go. Okay, Town Plaza belongs to me, meaning in a matter of moments, the surrender is coming in. Prussia aren't even going to be eliminated in a battle. They are going to surrender and just admit to me, we do not deserve to be a country. Sorry to have troubled you. Oh, yeah. Now that. That'll do. Oh no, Prussia's gone. And honestly, Munich is not worth that much at all. 
it's not a great territory. So, uh, guess what's happening to them? Everybody out, we're going home. And Westphalia, I have got a brilliant present for you. There we go, job done. Also, I just remembered, this means unfortunately we don't get to, uh, yes, sell their boats to the sea police, as those boats now just cease to exist. So in which case, honestly, Killfleet may as well just uh, stay right here. There's nowhere else it's needed for the moment. Oh, and speaking of Maratha, now I'm a hijacking absolutely all their trade, and now my army is back up to strength. And now it's my turn again, so uh, oh yeah, you guys are desperately trying to muster up some defense, but there is none to be had. I'd say things are actually looking pretty bloody good. So, 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 with Prussia defeated, how about we call it a part there, but say next time, oh, we're going on the offensive against Maratha, because this territory is going down, and I suspect there is nothing to stop me just swinging around all these small northern territories and taking a big old pile of them, and uh, as I say, I've got a plan. And on top of that, one I've very much been waiting for too, which is, uh, it's time for the bloody title fight over here. This is gonna be, oh, this is just gonna be absolutely bloody fascinating. The native army, commanded by the greatest bastard who ever lived, is ready to begin its invasion. Next turn, we will be going in and my native forces are going up against the Marathon Expedition, and that's gonna be an interesting one. Oh, plus, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, I have, I've been missing some big moves. Over here, the Ottomans absolutely did take Croatia, but they lost Sarajevo and Belgrade. Right over there, they've lost, oh wow, okay, so... The Austrian-Ottoman War is heating up in a hurry. There is territory trading going on here. Still, Austria is starting to build a bit more of an empire. And one more thing we need to talk about next week too, which is why precisely am I doing so badly in prestige? Why am I barely beating Spain? Why is Britain ahead of me? Why is Maratha so bloody far ahead of me? There is a reason for that, and uh, yes, we're going to discuss it and discuss how we're going to fix it next turn, because uh, I think in the next few turns, uh, we should be starting to move uh, towards, yeah, overtaking Britain, uh, becoming the second most prestigious empire in the world. And a good starting point could very much be taking the center of the Marathon Empire off them, because, uh, oh, I suspect this territory is... Uh, it's pretty rich, actually. Yes. So that there, that'd be pretty bloody nice. And, and on top of that, they're getting war-weary. They don't like how long they've been at war. They don't like the fact they're being invaded. They don't like the fact they seem to be losing. So, put all that together. Okay. Things are starting to look bad for you. So, some big... Big fights, including some very unconventional armies, are coming up next time. Hopefully, you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Empire Total War. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This, this guy's enjoying that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. Oh my god. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky. Look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear! And then oh, in come the chariots! Yeah.